morning. Right, so today is the 25th of September. We're still doing some scrap timber. Um, I am actually going to go to, what was the 23rd, which is sketch three, which is this sketch. There we go. Um, and I did actually start this before I started recording. Um, it's a picture of me at the Meadery for tea last Saturday night um, in Penzance. And then, um, so it's a picture of me with my glass of mead and then just some, I've done some really little pictures of what I had for my tea. Um, I'm using Vicky Booten Print Shop. So this is cut from this sheet from the 12 by 12 pad. Um, yeah, and that's where I'm up to. I am just trying to find, here we go, I'm doing a hop as well. Um, so it's also Karen Day is celebrating 500 subscribers for her YouTube channel. So I'm taking part in that hop um, and I'll link to the playlist in the description as well as the Scrap Temper playlist. Okay. Okay, so I pulled out the letters for my title. Um, so the, the theme of this hop is currently, so I'm scrapping photos which are currently on holiday. Um, so this is, like I said, me at the, the Meadery where Mr Ding and I went for our tea um, and the title I've done and relax. Um, so I was just figuring out where it was going because on the sketch it's next to the photo but with using these alphas from print shop um, it's a little long so I was going to put it below the photo and then decide to put it on this uh, bit on the side where I put a bit of the extra uh, pattern paper. I've turned my strip around which with the hexagons so I've got where I've cut bits out where it's in and out uh, a little bit more for movement and interest along the left and then I'm just getting these huge chipboard out of to you know, see if any of these I could use. I was thinking of doing my journaling on that speech bubble and then changed my mind and used this tag instead um, and then I just get some of the hearts out to put on the little photos. So Scrap Timber is Laura Alberts and Scrappy Sisters and as I mentioned there is a playlist um, which I'll pop in the description for that um, and go check that out. Now what I'm doing here is I am pulling some of the layers from the chipboard away so it's not as bulky with it with me putting it on top of the photo um, so you know it's quite easy to do that and can make a much thinner layers as thin as you like really um, yeah and these are suspensioned about the hearts on the photos with uh, my food so it's garlic bread and mushrooms of starter and then they do something called chicken and rush you you eat everything bar ice cream with your fingers at this uh, at the meadery there's no knives and forks um so there's garlic mushrooms for starter chicken in the rough for my main so that's half a uh half chicken with chips uh you can have it with salad and then have my chocolate nut sundae without the nuts for pudding and Mr. Ding always says, oh, that's just a chocolate sundae. And I'm like, well, I can't ask for a chocolate sundae because it's not on the menu. And I'll just get my chocolate nut sundae brought to me if I ask for a chocolate sundae. And I don't like nuts. So <laughs> so it's chocolate nut sundae without the nuts is what I order. <laughs> um, so just go through the papier, papier paper uh, set. Um, now to get some elements out to embellish. I was going to put these sort of cup stain paint stain um, circles on and decide against that in a moment um, but I'm just going through the pack just to remind myself of what's in here because they are they're huge these uh, paper sets in the 
American Crafts collections, Vicky Booten collections. Um, there's just so much in them. Some of them's washy, so you peel off the back and it's washy, and some of them's just thin paper. Uh, but because they are thin paper, there are lots in there. So I decided I'm going to use this tag because it says documented on it. Now, I do usually cut these in half but because there's so much in this pack. I have just folded it in half and used it traditionally. Uh, and then, yeah, I just thought sort of audition lots of different pieces. And then we've got me trying to use these big bulldog clips that come in Vicky's collections. And I do actually find a place I'm happy with it. So there we go. And then with that label sort of over it. Do look at, for a few more pieces. I do end up leaving it as this. I might have used that word. I can't remember. I've left the layout right across the other side of the room. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just I do audition a few different pieces and then just leave it with what's on there now because I'm happy with it. Um, just having a little think there and do start sticking in a minute now with the chipboard pieces with taking the backing off it and making it rather you know, not as dimensional um, it does mean there isn't the nice smooth back for sticking adhesive to so you will see me struggling in a minute um, so I'm just using a bit of the Hey Little Magpie seam binding here with the label uh, just love absolutely love this bluey petroly blue colour um, sort of it's like a dark teal I can never remember what, it, what the name of that colour is um, so I'm just using a bit of that because I don't like a naked tag. And again, just going through the pieces, making sure there's nothing else I want to use on it. And I do end up with it just like this. Um, so I'm going to stick things down now and you'll see me struggling with that tag in a moment. What I do need to do now I've finished the recording is I need to get some glue on the back of the title. Because uh, anybody who's ever used chipboard alphas will know they don't like sticking um, so I couldn't decide if to leave the backing on this washi piece or to take the backing off and I do like the washi without the backing on it's just you know it's lighter in colour and so I do decide to take the backing off but I am still putting my 3D foam behind it because it's up on the photo and I don't think I mentioned this actually the photo's up on the one inch sticks to 3d foam so i do um leave it stuck up on there so so yeah there's just also putting some 3d foam on the back of the um that label as well for for you know raising that up to the same height as the photo so my laptop keeps on going to sleep and I thought I'd switch the screen off from going to sleep. By with us. I think that's sorted now. Right, so this is me struggling trying to get 3D foam to stick to the back of this chipboard piece when I've pulled layers off. Um, I'm then sticking some of the seam binding down onto it as well. So I use some wet glue to hold the 3D foam piece on and also for the seam binding and the seam binding actually ends up sticking to my finger <laughs> and not the board um, so I do kind of manage to tease it to stay there uh, and then um, add the glue to the other side to stick it to the photo this is really almost done as I said I don't really add much more to this I loved that label so I do end up finding a place for it so I'm happy with it there <laughs> a little sip of my lem sip and then I'm just going to glue these hearts down and we are done thanks so much for stopping by please check out the playlist for the two hops and um, say hi and see you again soon have a great day bye